Hello friends, my name is Jaini and today we are going to discuss about dual cycle. So the PV diagram, 1 to 2 process is isentropic compression process in which work is required by the system. 2 to 3 process is constant volume heat addition process and 3 to 4 process is constant pressure heat addition process 4 to 5 is isentropic expansion process and 5 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection process during the expansion process 4 to 5 work is done by the system efficiency is equal to output divided by input See, uh, the output is work done by the system minus work required by the system divided by input means total heat supplied means the summation of QS1 plus QS2 during the 2D process heat addition take place is denoted by QS1 and during 3-4 process the heat addition take place that is denoted by QS2 so efficiency in turn is equal to 1 minus QR divided by QS universal equation is also equal to QR divided by QS1 plus QS2 because total QS is equal to heat addition by two processes QS1 and QS2 heat rejection is taking place at a constant volume that's why it is written as MCV 5-1 process so it's T5 minus T1 divided by QS1 is related with the constant volume process so MCV T3 minus T2 and the QS2 process is related with the constant pressure process that's why here it is MCP instead of CV because it is constant pressure process so MCP T4 minus T3 so I am taking M common out of it and I am dividing both the numerator and denominator with the CV so that gives me T5 minus T1 divided by T3 minus T2 plus gamma. Gamma means Cp divided by Cb adiabatic index. Its value is 1.4. And T4 minus T3. Now what I am doing, I am converting all the T5, T3, T2, T4, T3 equation in terms of T1. In order to get this answer. This is really an important question. Sometimes it is asked in the examination that you need to solve, you need to derive this equation. So process number 1 to 2, isentropic process. For isentropic process, you can also check my video within this channel. T2 divided by T1 is equal to V1 by V2 raised to gamma minus 1. And V1 by V2 is a compression ratio. That is also mentioned very clearly in isentropic process. Just check this video. You will get uh, information about what is compression ratio and how this equation is derived. So it is denoted by V1 by V2 is compression ratio denoted by R, R rest to gamma minus 1. Process number 2, 3, it's a constant volume process. So as per PV divided by T constant, means P2 V2 divided by T2 is equal to P3 V3 divided by T3, where V2 is equal to V3, that's why here P3 by P2 is equal to T3 by T2. So T3 is equal to P3 by P2 means compression ratio, uh, sorry pressure ratio. So it is denoted by Rp into T2. Okay, now T2 is further converted in terms of T1. R is to gamma minus 1 into T1. So T3 in terms of T1 is Rp into R is to gamma minus 1, T1. Process number 3 to 4. V4 by V3, PV divided by T constant. From that formula, P4, V4 divided by T4 is equal to P3 V3 divided by T3 where P3 is equal to P4 because it is constant pressure process so that's why V4 by V3 is equal to T4 by T3 and T4 is equal to V4 by V3 into T3 V4 by V3 as we have learned already from the diesel cycle it is cutoff ratio so rho that is denoted by rho into Rp into Rs to gamma minus 1 into T1 in terms of T1 it is written in this format process number 4 to 5 that is also isentropic process so T5 by T4 
is equal to b4 by b5 raised to gamma minus 1. I am dividing both the equation numerator and denominator by v3. So v4 by v3 as well as v5 by v3. v4 by v3 means cutoff ratio and v5 is equal to v1 as per the constant volume process. So v5 instead of v5 I am putting v1 here. So v1 by v3, v3 means what? v3 means v2. It's the same rule, constant volume process. v5 is equal to v1, v3 is equal to v2. Then it is denoted by compression ratio and numerator is denoted by the uh, cutoff ratio. So it is cutoff ratio divided by compression ratio, nothing else. So the T5 equation is something like this one. Or from after derivation, you can get this equation rho raised to gamma rp into t1. So efficiency equation from here, from this equation, I am putting the value of t5 in terms of t1. So t5 in terms of t1, rho raised to gamma rp into t1 minus t1 divided by t3 in terms of t1, rp r raised to gamma minus 1 into t1. So this one is t3 minus this one is t2 in terms of t1 plus gamma into bracket t4 t4 means here it is rho rp r raised to gamma minus 1 into t1 minus rp gamma minus 1 into t1 it is t3 further explaining this equation taking t1 common out of it so this equation will derive and after getting this equation one more step you can do r raised to gamma minus 1 taking common out from the denominator so it will gives you an equation 1 minus rho raised to gamma rp minus 1 divided by r raised to gamma minus 1 rp minus 1 plus gamma rp rho minus 1. This is dual cycle efficiency. You are able to derive both the cycle efficiency from this equation. Let's see how. For uh, this diagram, if this diagram becomes a diesel cycle diagram, what is required? This process we need to eliminate. 2, 3 process. 2, 3 process eliminated means what? means pressure ratio is equal to 1. If I am putting pressure ratio value is equal to 1 here, then what it gives? 1 minus 1 upon R raised to gamma minus 1, which is the auto cycle efficiency. Now if I want, uh, sorry, uh, it gives diesel cycle efficiency, RP, if RP is equal to 1, then efficiency is equal to 1 minus rho raised to gamma minus 1 divided by R raised to gamma minus 1 into rho minus 1, gamma into rho minus 1. That is diesel cycle efficiency. So if you put Rp is equal to 1, then it gives you diesel cycle efficiency. If you put the, if I want to make this diagram as a uh, auto cycle diagram, then this 3, 4 lines should be equivalent. So 3 and 4 points should meet at a point. It means what? Cutoff ratio is equal to 1. If the cutoff ratio is equal to 1, then 1 uh, minus uh, sorry, rp minus 1. So it gives you the equation 1 minus 1 upon r raised to gamma minus 1. That's it. That's why it is a dual cycle efficiency. Thank you very much.